Okay, so I've shaped her all the way around. And now I'm going to chart out my line. So, looking at the side of her neck, you can determine exactly where you want your line to be. And you start cutting it out. Taking away that excess here. So what you want to do is carve out that ear. Now guys, don't worry about the way it looks. Your focus is carving out where you need to be. Because we're going to go back in with the razor and make sure everything looks smooth. So you see that? And you carve out that ear. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Don't worry about the middle or the bottom. You do that last. Alright, so now that you have gotten the hair shape form, you've cut down the sides, you've cut out the ear, at this point is where you pick your razor back up and put your shears down. Now you don't want any bulkiness behind the ear. Or in that area you already got your hair frame in so you can look at your canvas and see what needs to come off so what you want to do is try to get it as close as possible now I'm not super 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 close because my client doesn't like it when it looks like it's not really a natural haircut so we're just gonna lay the razor and you can see where the hair needs to come off. And as long as you're tilting that razor and holding it down, you're not taking off more hair than you need to. And like I said, make sure you soften your line so that it doesn't look so hard. Now you wanna hold the air down and just go in this area Carve out that ear. Carve out the ear. And then you want to follow through with the back just to see if any excess hair needs to be removed. And just work your way around to the other side and carve out that hair. And you can see and you can feel when you need to remove more hair. portion now it's here where you can determine whether you want to have a sideburn or if you want to have it you know leave enough to where you can shape it here and here so you don't want to take it all the way, all the way down so that when you go back in with your shears to define your lines, 
that you have still have some hair there to work with and do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I am going to finish her up. And you guys will see the finished product. She's going to have more hair volume in the front. We're just going to trim her bangs a bit. And that is pretty much the gist of what else I'm going to do. So remember, I'm going to soften my lines with my shears. I left a little bit of hair here to give me the option of making a sideburn. I'm going to cut out her bangs, and then I'm going to style her. And I will let you guys see the finish. Alright, so I am done. If you can see, everything is cut out and smooth, and her haircut is in. I remember where we started from and she is not a very hard client to please she doesn't like a whole lot of carrying on and so a basic simple haircut is quite enough so I have my stove getting hot I've got my curlers ready to rock and roll I'm gonna curl her up and you will see the finished product guys razor cut from start to finish Alright guys, so Miss Felicia is all done. And this is her finished product. I am going to just swing her around. And she is all done. I used my Ashte Curling Wax and some Spritz and Shine, my Marcel Irons, and I curled her up. I gave her a feathered look in the back. And guys, you can see in closely, we got it. Nice and tight with just the razor comb. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.